So, hey guys, Chelsea here. This is going to be my 6 plus Tesoro showcase. And in this particular video, I'm going to try double Tesoro, which has some merits. If you look at this captain ability, I'll say the main benefit running to Tesoro is first. Uh, you can get a 5 turn chain lock since the Sora special is a 3 turn chain lock and this captain ability extends it by 1 turn so 2 captains extend it by 2 turns. Also with double to Sorrow, you can resist special bind special reverse by 10 turns total, 5 turns per captain. And yeah, I gone through the rest before I talk about it during the video. And yeah, basically the Sorrow, top row, bottom row gets matching orbs to block orbs, you perfect lock them. 3.75 time, times chain lock for 3 turns and if you hit 3 grades you get a 4.25 times chain lock instead and as said this can become a 5 turn 4.25 times chain locks that's pretty crazy uh, so Toros super type instead gives you top row and bottom row rainbow orbs which is pretty dope the main benefit to this is to avoid the negative orb debuff but of course you can make use of his special of increasing the base attack boost by 500 so getting a maximum of 1300 base attack boost anyways i made two teams with double tesoro we're starting with kabamatsu which is uh, one of the easier arena and the only reason i'm doing it really is because it was the only quick focused arena where i felt like tesoro uh, was pretty useful so yeah, this is not an arena I do that much nowadays. So my minimal requirement for this team was to make it fairly accessible. I will say fairly. I guess I have one uh, hard to replay support, but yeah. It's a showcase in the end. And yeah. Tesoro also has really low CD, which helps his usability in general. Both in Treasure Map, where he's going to be great for wave clears and also for general content where you can just use his special very early and just carry that chain lock through to the end and yeah we do the combo here with the super type into special giving us the five turn chain lock and the 1300 base attack boost and yeah putting there with the berry pen to pierce through and yeah, the Sora is minus one C. This is a technical SP run captain, but minus one is not the fastest. But uh, since he's, he, he himself is such low CD, you can just try and pair him up with other low CD units, which is basically what I've done on this team. So basically, 10 CD units will be ready for stage four in arenas, and 12 CD units will be ready for stage five. That's basically how it works. And yeah, after you hit 3 grades, the Soros capability is going to go up to 5.75 times. Uh, of course, one weakness with the Soros is that you have to keep hitting grades, which is obviously less damage than perfect. But if you hit a perfect, your damage is going to absolutely tank. Uh, so you can't have to avoid perfects. One thing to keep in mind though is that the very last hit you do in a turn can be perfect because the damage reduction uh, is only after that so you can always hit one perfect every turn as long as it is the last hit and yeah uh, king here well he does remove chain lock so by using tes the other tesoro i am able to get the chain lock back so just a fun little way of making double tesoro useful otherwise it will have just been plus 500 extra base attack boost See, in, in general, I don't really think that Double Tesoro is going to be a thing. This Tesoro is going to be absolutely amazing as a hybrid captain, though. He was already pretty good before, but now, being able to get up towards 5 turn chain lock and it being so high, together with the special bind, special rerush assist, yeah, real available. I will also say that Tesoro's own ship, uh, when you get it, you will be able to get an extra turn of chain lock extension which means you only do need one captain to get that five, five turn chain lock which is pretty dope anyway time for one of the hardest arena in sasaki and that was the sora captain actually very nice here you just completely shut down everything here the special bind final stage special reverse ahead of that so yeah 
that's pretty nice. And yeah, this is probably the worst looking team I've beaten this content with, like just look at these guys. Well, at least Garlic got a buff recently, but yeah, Don Jin Zhao, the int one, uh, I've not used him for a long time. But I thought this was a fun time to use him. Uh, basically, uh, what Don Jin Zhao does is that when he's at low HP, he gives you a higher ore boost. So since we're at very low HP the next stage, I thought we'd be able to get the max boost and honestly I wasn't sure what that was. It, it isn't stated in his special how big ore boost you get. But apparently the max ore boost he can do is just 1.75 times. But it's a 2 turn ore boost which is why I wanted to use him. Anyway, setting up the chain lock here. Uh, unfortunately I don't hit 3 greats here so I don't buff it, maybe it could have been a workaround, but I don't think so to be honest, but we're good anyway, we do enough damage. Uh, if I had the ship upgraded, I wouldn't have had to stall either, and honestly, the Blackbeard Parachip ship level 12 is m maybe, well, it's one of the best ships for the Zora for sure. It already wants you to use a lot of classes, and with the Zora you always want to build with all classes, so very good ship. One of the biggest attack buffs in the game as well. Tons of HP 2, minus 2 CD, just a great level 12 ship. Which is on my radar. I will probably do it pretty soon. So by soon I mean like maybe next year. <laughs> that feels soon with ships. Anyway, we did the Scarlet combo. So if you have an ore boost with low, low HP. You can extend the ore boost two turns and get a three turn attack boost. So by using that we got the four turn ore boost and this is going to give us enough damage to kill on the revive later. So yeah, pretty fun, unexpected combo. I'm going to be honest, I spent so long with this. I was pretty obsessed with doing a no stall speedrun to when I was so close. In many ways. And then I did this run. And I realized Chopper lacked one seed and I was like, F it, <laughs> I'm done with this, let's finish this. And yeah, didn't even, even need to hit a perfect there, very solid damage. And yeah, the chain lock ran out now, but we do have the second Tesora available. So we can just bring it back. I think I used the special before the uh, super type here, which is very dumb because... Oh, I forgot I used the super type in the beginning of the turn before. So we're good. So you buffed the base attack boost and got the chain lock. And we have still have the ore boost, so yeah, this is enough to kill. But yeah, this was my double to Sora showcase. I'm definitely doing more to Sora content later. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.